So you've probably heard that software engineers make six figures and wondering how you too can become a software engineer or a software developer. Here's how I became a software engineer and eventually chief technology officer of Career Karma. A lot of beginners think that if you complete a bunch of online coding tutorials and collect certificates, employers will come knocking on your door. Although it's true that tech companies are in desperate need of software engineers, they are looking for people who have coding experience. So let's unpack what coding experience means and how you can demonstrate it to your future employers. This is how we do it. Step one, pick a coding language and understand the fundamentals of how to use it. I recommend starting with JavaScript because you'll be able to build both front-end and back-end systems using the same language. If you start with something like Python or Ruby or Java, you will still need to learn JavaScript in order to make your websites interactive. If you're just starting out, check out my other video on how to learn to code for beginners on our YouTube channel. Step two, now that you've learned the basics of coding, you need to start practicing so you could actually become a software engineer. Now the tricky part is, this period can take anywhere from two months to several years. Using something called deliberate practice will help you expedite this stage. You need to identify all areas you're weak in and practice the weak points until you master them. It's similar to learning to play a musical instrument. You can't just practice the musical notes that sound good. It's important that you spend most of your time practicing areas where you're weak in. Identifying those weak areas is something that requires an outside perspective. Typically, it's a mentor or a structured course like a coding bootcamp. Back when I was learning, I did a coding bootcamp that helped me identify and practice all the technologies I needed to know in just three months. If I was doing it on my own, it would have taken me several years to learn. Step three, in my experience, most employers will ask you, what is the most challenging project you have built? Having a great answer to this question will determine if the interviewer thinks you have the right type of experience for the company. To build a great portfolio, you will need to have at least three cornerstone projects that you could put on your resume. Now, I recommend pairing with up to three or four people so you could build a full stack app with a front end, a server, and a database. Working on a team and using tools like Git or GitHub for version control will prepare you for your first job. If you can't find people to work with, attend a hackathon or find a small business who needs a website. Having projects in your portfolio with actual companies will help build out your resume and work experience. For more information, I have another video that breaks down how to build a rockstar programming portfolio where I go in depth on the types of challenging things you could work on that demonstrate that you have the right type of coding experience. Step four. Now the last part of becoming a software engineer is acing the coding interviews. Here, you need to learn how to tell your story that conveys your passion for solving engineering problems. Incorporate your past projects to demonstrate that you already have the engineering experience that these companies are looking for. Keep in mind that sharing anecdotes about the technical challenges you encountered in your personal or client projects will be what convinces the interviewer that you have what it takes to join their team. We sold blenders and even the best model in the world is only going to run maybe 10 or 11 hours. So we're getting out and when we do, we're better off for it because whatever doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Remember that to become a software engineer, you need to start thinking like a developer. If you can't attend a coding bootcamp, try attending a meetup in your city or joining engineering communities online so you could start learning what are the things that engineers think about. You could also join our weekly AMAs and events on Career Karma app to see how people got engineering jobs at companies like Apple, Twitter, and other big tech companies. Comment below which steps you think is the most challenging and I will help point you to the right resource. Let's break in.